Hello everyone. Today we will learn about the storage devices. A computer uses many devices to store important data and information in the computer. These are called the storage devices. Now whenever you work on a computer, you type something or you make a picture, you want to save that picture in your computer. And to store that picture in the computer, you need a storage device. The most common and primary storage device is a hard disk. Hard disk is like a rectangular box. It is fixed inside the CPU box. You cannot see the hard disk from outside as it is fixed inside the CPU box. It can store huge amount of data. A large amount of data can be stored in a hard disk and it looks like this. Hard disk also called hard disk drive. So it is also called the hard disk drive which is HDD. Hard disk work is to permanently store and retrieve computer data. So the first primary thing is to store your data and it can store it permanently. So you can open your documents and your pictures again and again. And opening them again and again is retrieving them when the computer wants to open them again and again. Next is a CD and a DVD. A CD or a DVD is round in shape. So both of them are round in shape. It helps you to store large amount of data. Now a CD and a DVD can also store a large amount of data but less than a hard disk. A DVD stores more data than a CD. So if we compare a CD and a DVD, the DVD will store more data as compared to a CD. It is also used for listening music and watching movies. So you will fi find a lot of CDs and DVDs which are music DVDs or a movie DVDs. And they look like this. CD stands for compact disc. So CD is the short form of compact disc. And DVD stands for digital versatile disc. So this is the full form for DVD. Digital versatile disc. Next is a pen drive. A pen drive stores data that can be copied to any other computer. So if we want to copy data from one computer to another computer, we can use a pen drive to do that. As a pen drive is small in size, it can be carried anywhere. So this is a special feature. It's very small in size and you can carry it from one place to another. So if you want to copy some uh, information from one computer to another computer you can copy it into a pen drive and take it with you and it looks like this. It is also known as flash drive. So the pen drive is also known as the flash drive. 